Here we have the two BLE112 modules plugged into two USB ports. One module is programmed with Evaluation Kit Master Firmware and the other with Evaluation Kit Slave Firmware. Let's reset each module by pressing the side reset switch. Now we can see which module is master and which is slave. Note that the modules automatically connect and data typed into one module comes out on the other. The firmware is available in the Blue Giga script or BGS files and can be found on the InMojo website here. Here is how to reprogram the BLE112 module with the CC debugger. OK, let's move on to the WT12 Classic Bluetooth modules. Note that the BLE112 and Classic WT modules are not compatible. Let's do a soft reset on each module and then press S for Set to see the settings. To connect, first we press I for Inquiry to see which Bluetooth modules are discoverable. OK, we can see the MAC address and the blue terminal program has saved this in the toolbar. Now let's connect. We click call and after a few seconds the WT12 module connects. Now we can type data into one module and it comes out on the other modules. We can click the CMD slash data button to go back to command mode to see the settings again. With the classic modules there are several profiles. SPP or serial port profile for a wireless serial connection. HID or human interface device connections such as keyboards and BGIO for the Blue Giga input slash output profile for use with remote switches and outputs. Note that the multiplex mode allows for up to seven simultaneous connections at the same time. The classic modules use Bluetooth version 2 while the BLE modules use Bluetooth version 4.